put it to FIFA. FIFA. Organize, organize, organize. Organize, organize, organize. Organize, organize, organize. Organize, organize. Thank you very much. Uh, comrades, actually my name is uh, Maranga, for those uh, who know me well. Iyo ndo jina Maranga. Najua sa zingine na zakuwa challenge kidogo, especially kama hoja. Zoya kuita mkasi liyo. Viva, comrades, viva. Viva. Um, I'd like to express appreciation, appreciation to having been invited to this very, very important occasion here today. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations and onward with the good work, particularly to all those comrades who've achieved this milestone. I think an importance of this event here today is the recognition of the importance of ideological study in our organizing. We have demonstrated that we understand that the cornerstone to all forms of organizing within our organizations is ideological study. And why is ideological study particularly very important? It is important because it is what enables us to analyze, to understand, to perceive, to see all the contradictions that are going on, not only within our organizations, and this is something that the people who've presented here have mentioned here, yeah? the contradictions within our organizations, but not only that, but also the contradictions within our society in general. Yes. It is because of ideological study that you will be able to watch what is happening in the news or to watch what is happening outside and to be able to analyze it from a socialist perspective, from an ideological perspective. When you see people talking about how the IMF influences our um, um, taxes and how therefore this translates into higher prices of basic commodities, you're able to analyze it from an ideological point of view because of the study that you've done. Sindio. When we see tribalism being peddled by these bourgeois politicians, when we see all forms of prejudices happening within our society, we can analyze it. We can see the root causes of these problems and we can see what the solutions are. And why do we do, uh, why do, we do that? Because of ideological study. Most importantly, the conclusion that all of us here have made to belong to organizations, to belong to revolutionary organizations, that itself is a product of ideological study. So with that, comrades, I'd like to say congratulations to all those comrades who are making this giant leap to become full members of the CPK. And on behalf of the Revolutionary Socialist League, which I am part of, I'd like to say congratulations and let us keep up with this journey. In addition to this, of course, I'm very happy that we have fraternal relations um, between the CPK, the RSL, the AAPRP, Ukombozi Library, the National Students Caucus, and the Kenya Palestine Solidarity Movement. And as Comrade Sobuko said, that platform or that um, alliance is called Pan-African Socialist Alliance. So I'm very proud that our organizations have come together into creating this very important fraternal relationship because that fraternal relationship demonstrates, as comrades have said, our understanding that our struggle is the same and our understanding that in bringing ourselves together we shall be able to penetrate and to reach even the most revolutionary, the most remote sections of our population in order to organize towards liberation. <laughs> our Alliance PASA, as all of us, of course, have been keeping tabs, has been able to do so many things in the recent past. We've done solidarity campaigns with the people of Palestine, which is, of course, ongoing. We've done solidarity campaigns with the people of Haiti, which is of course ongoing. We've done solidarity campaigns with the people of Sudan, 
the people of Sarawi, the people of Venezuela, the people of Cuba, because we understand that our struggle is incomplete without the liberation of the people all over the world struggling against oppression, struggling against exploitation, struggling against capitalism, struggling against imperialism, and all forms of exploitation. So comrades, I like to say it is a good step that we continue to forge um, stronger partnerships, stronger cooperation, stronger solidarity uh, within our various revolutionary organizations. And on behalf of Revolutionary Socialist League, once again, I say congratulations. And once again, I affirm greetings of friendship and solidarity. And once again, I say, let us work towards a free, a unified, a socialist Africa. Viva Comrades FIFA! Viva! Viva Comrades FIFA! Viva! Thank you, Comrades.